The new Titan 4000 series makes routine maintenance, like changing the water union, easier than ever before. And today, we're gonna to show you how to do it in three minutes or less. I went ahead and gathered up the tools that we're gonna need for this job. We have a 15 16 wrench, a rotary union wrench, and a torque wrench with a 15 16 crow's foot. We also have a magnetic base, dial indicator, and some Metaflux. Step one, I got the Titan in a safe state for performing maintenance work. I got it parked in the center of the table so I can access all three sides of the spindle if needed. And now we just gotta pop that hood off. If we get a shot up here, I'll show you the water union that we're gonna be taking off. All right, first we're gonna take these lines off, or just the push lock. Get them up out of the way. Take the wrench that we provided with the machine, put it on the flats of the spindle. Uh, quick reminder, this is a left-handed thread. Break it loose. Now I like to take the 15 16 wrench, keep it on the nut on the bottom side of the water union, and just spin the spindle counterclockwise while holding it still with the wrench. And that will loosen up your water union and remove it. Uh, being that this is perfectly fine and we're not gonna replace it, we're just demonstrating how to change it. We're gonna put it right back in. Before we reinstall the water union, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Metaflux to the threads in the seal. You also wanna point out that this surface that mates to the spindle itself needs to be free of any debris. And just reverse the order, put your wrench back on. Now turn the spindle clockwise. Now we're going to take our rotary union wrench, put it on the flats of the spindle, take your torque wrench, which is set to 25 foot-pounds. We're going to torque that. Now we're going to take our dial indicator with the magnetic base, attach it to the spindle, and the needle of the dial indicator is touching the very top portion of the water union. Now from here, I'm gonna hold the water union stationary while I spin the spindle by hand. And we don't want any more than three thousandths of run out. If there is greater than three thou, the life of the water union could be impacted. Plug your hoses back in the holes here. Make sure they're seated all the way in. And we're ready for production. If you have an older series Titan and you wanna upgrade your water union to the quick change style, call into our service team here at Park Industries and we'll help you out.